What's going on guys, it's Kude here, and today we're reviewing on Mortal Kombat, and I gotta say, I did not expect this trio to make it into the cut, but honestly, considering what they did with Combat Cup Cassie Cage, it's actually not surprising if you think about it. It makes sense, but it also doesn't, because these three don't really belong on the same team. Three... Tanya's. Yes, Tanya's. Well, that's exactly what we're going to be doing is playing with three Tanya's fully maxed out, including the new one, which is Pyromancer Tanya. All right, so first off, Pyromancer uh, Tanya, you probably want to know more about her. Well, first off, we're going to cut over to the uh, default stats so you can see what the default stats are, and then we'll show the passive along uh, with the default stats. So, all right, so here is Tanya, and we're going to take a look at her passive. So, Devil's Dust, Surging Blast, Special Attack 2, and a unique combo ender that has a 30% chance of being performed, Powder the Opponent with Devil's Dust dust that sticks for 20 seconds characters affected by devil's dust are blinded and take 50 percent more damage from fire attacks and fire dots martial artist and outworld teammates combo enders become fire attacks uh, and apply fire dot stacking up to two times on the opponents affected by devil's dust so this means that you could theoretically apply more fire with um was it say martial artists right yeah martial artists and outworld combined you could apply more of the um fire stacks and also blind the opponents so i think she applies fire with sp1 but take a look at her stats here these are her default stats pretty decent for a gold card but not outstanding and uh yeah so let's get back on with the gameplay Okay, now that you're back here, after reading the passive and everything, I want to talk about what we applied to Tanya here. We have Revolvers, Famous Fashion Dominator, and Jensei Hat. We're going to go all out. And then Tanya, Treacherous, of course, I, I'm, I'm kind of reading that backwards since it goes down, but it's supposed to be up. Anyway, so Treacherous Tanya, Sento Blade, Killer Jacket, and Edenian Bracelets. And first off, I just want to say... My gosh, the developers really paid attention to detail here. Just taking a look at little small things like the equipment Fusion X icon, it's just bigger. You go to the volume settings, there's a little zero button which turns your thing off completely. Just so many great, great features. I cannot believe the attention to detail here. And then we have Kubu Jitsu, Tanya, or Kobo Jitsu. I don't know, whatever, which way you ever say it. Kobu or Kobo Jutsu um, Tanya, but then those are the equipments we applied to her. Because they're not diamonds, we can't go all, all, all out, but this will work just fine. We're going to be doing 12 battles, survivor mode, and how good do you think three Tanyas will be in survivor mode? Right, because I have no idea. <laughs> I've never done anything like this before, so let's hop into this. All right, so I skipped a bunch of the battles. And now I think it's time we should hop into it. Uh, I just want to do that for entertainment purposes. I don't want you to have to watch all seven of those battles that are easy. He's going to do quite a bit of damage with the uh, Soul Elixir. Hopefully we can kill him in time. Let's try out SP1 in the meantime. Uh, I don't think I want to tank with her though. Oh crap, oops. I didn't mean to get that low of a score. But interesting little SP1 there. Her basic attacks are extremely fun to play actually. And we'll just go over to Treacherous Tanya, and then she'll take that damage. We'll block as soon as possible to try to mitigate any damage. We're going to go over to... Co okay, there we go. It almost didn't go there. And then, easy kill. Um, Let's go back to our good old friend here. And we didn't even get to use SP2. Wow. Alright, now we're starting to get up to the fights that are actual Fusion X golds, and then I think the next game might start to be diamonds that are possibly I'm done Fusion uploading X. today, by the way, so anyone who's like, oh my gosh, you uploaded so many videos today, I know why. It's because I want to get this stuff out for you guys, and I'll take a break for today and then come back tomorrow with some more inf information. 
but yeah, I'm, I'm done for today. I've already posted like four videos, like my fifth one, pretty crazy stuff. We're gonna block here and try to use SP2. Ooh, ooh, we got the Devil's Dusk uh, passive there, and then we'll use SP2, cool fire. And we're gonna block here. He's oh he he goes through our block, so let's just try to kill him off. Let's try to kill him off. No, don't use SP1 against me. Should do a lot of damage. Perfect. All right, we're gonna use SP1. And then we're going to block immediately, hopefully mitigating any damage. Oh, well, you can't block through that. Oh, okay, yeah, we definitely mitigated all the damage. That's completely fine. Come on. Jax Briggs, no one likes you. Why are you struggling? Come on, Mortal Kombat, we have the brand new character, and you're giving me a fight with a fusion uh, level zero scorpion. Why? All right, come on. I will do X-Ray, but I might not do it in survivor mode. I might just do it in battle mode, mainly because getting it in here might be a little difficult since I usually want to win, which could forfeit the match if I'm not careful. If I try to get the X-Ray, we're gonna, go oh crap. Forgot you can't tag out, oopsie. We need to get him out of here first and then we'll tag. <gasps> Oh my gosh, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Nice, okay. That was really close. I was trying to block, but I thought for a minute that I could tag out without having to block, but that obviously did not work. Almost got me killed. Oh, nice. Let's get him taken out. There goes all that equipment on him. We're gonna block. Okay. Block again. He's got block breakers. We're gonna just be one and finish him off. Well, actually not. There we go. He's the star of every game, it seems. Okay, let's see. Day of the Dead Katana, fusion level 3. Not bad. Oh, Johnny Cage, once again. I don't actually have to do this. Just because of the Johnny... Actually, mm, let's do that. Because Johnny Cages are getting ridiculous, and I do not I do not want to die with the brand new character on the, the end of survivor mode run here. All right. So, let's do SP1 again. I might have to do Dark Queen's Tower for more testing with Diamond teams. That's what I had to do for the Combat Cup Cassie Cage team, because Faction Wars rarely matches you up with really uh, difficult matches. They usually want to not do that. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. All right, let's use SP1 on Pyro... Uh, ooh, Tanya here. I love these basic attacks, by the way. They're so fun. Okay. Ooh, yikes. All right, we're good. Let's use SP2 against her. We're going to block again. There we go. Block again. Great stuff, great stuff. Come on, don't, don't don't tell me we're not gonna fight a single diamond team. We're gonna have to go to quick play after this to find at least one X60 diamond team.
and oh my gosh now we fight the next 60 time a team oh my gosh no we are so gonna lose have we ever used a revive potion we have not hmm screw it let's use it <laughs> let's use it this team's worth it this team is worth it Let's get this bread. I didn't check their equipments, which is a huge mistake of mine because I'm literally using a character that breaks equipment. But hopefully that doesn't matter, which it does matter. Oh my god, please. Um, Block again. Oh, she's going to use me too. That's going to kill me. Ooh, not off to a good start, got to say. Um, Nope, 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 nope. Oh my gosh. Yep, she's dead. She dead. Yep. Can we take out the whole game with high... No, we can't. There's no way we can do this. There's no way. She's getting regen. Oh gosh, no. I took the chance and it didn't work. That's probably the only time that it didn't work. Oh my gosh. No, I took the chance and it didn't work. Well, if we didn't go against Assassin Jade, maybe we could have won this game. If you think we're just going to end off on that grim note when we didn't even get to kill a diamond team, of course not. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on Dark Queen's Tower and fight a diamond team because Factionwars won't give me a match. And you know what you say? If Factionwars won't give you a match, then the tower will. All right, guys, let's hop in. This is into gonna this. be the new meta. Just, just watch it. Watch it be the new meta. All right, here we go. Just that. Perfect. We got the devil's dust already going on him. And use SP one. Look at that damage. Perfect. Let's go over to Treacherous Tanya. We're taking a lot of damage, and I know it's because of the um, dark magic here. Yikes. Let's use SP1 once more. I don't, even, I don't know. This is this is looking tricky. And not even because we're losing, per se. It's just the dark magic. Oh, yeah. That character's gone. Oh, okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Eh, one more. One more, guys. One more. We did way too well against that team. We gotta try one more time. Okay, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. We got to do one more fight. All right, that was so much fun. We got to do one more. 
And let's fight the Cold War team with Arctic Wind. Uh, active character on your team gets frozen and affected by frostbite. That slows your fighter. Uh, no, I hate being right, Immediately, slow. we're going to block. Oh, wait, no. We don't need to. He doesn't have SP1. And here we go. Perfect. We're doing really well so far. Let's use P1 against him. Ooh, that did some serious damage. Block. Oh, we can't block. And we're frozen now. This is where the pain starts to kick in. All right, let's use Tanya. Block first. And that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, peace out.